Uh, so Chris, uh, just talk us through what you've done and what you've found. Good morning, Adam. Yes, we've had this fire in this mobile phone shop in the work area. As we can see, it's only virtually a very small fire in regards that it's only probably about a metre by a metre in regards to the fire damage. What we can see immediately here is that we've got an area along here which is severely damaged, as we can see there. But what we do know is that we've had um, perspex and uh, methylated spirits uh, drip down into that area and that's uh, been a, a result of this fire. What we can see is that lots of mobile phones, so initially we thought it may have been a lithium battery fire. However, our lithium batteries are all fine in this case. But what we have found is that we've got an electrical um, power board with it switched on. We can see the cable running through and it goes to a air, hot air gun. As you see by that hot air gun and where it's positioned, we know that this from the owner, that this gun has an automatic shut off. We believe that it hasn't actually shut off and it's been continuing overnight. It's superheating these areas. It's eventually failed creating the fire in this location. So what, uh, this fire could have been a lot worse. What were, the, what were the events leading up to the early notification? Okay, so what we've had, first of all, we've had the uh, door in the closed position. So it's kept the fire into this location. And then from here, as we can see from this location here, we've actually got smoke detectors because of the type of premise that has uh, activated the fire alarm panel and it's uh, notified the fire brigade of an impending fire. So without this detection, this early detection, the gentleman could have come in at uh, nine o'clock this morning and found that his whole shop was well alight, but due to the detection, we've uh, been able to get onto it very early.